Every year, Australia produces nearly 400 million kilograms of wool, a natural fibre that ends up in sweaters, coats, blankets and luxury suits around the world. This industry transforms sheep fleece into one of the most valuable materials on the planet. But how does that process actually work? To find out, we'll step into the farms and factories of Australia, the world's leading wool producer, and follow the journey of this fibre from the fields all the way to your closet. Wool is much more than a soft fibre. It is strong, elastic, fire resistant, and able to regulate temperature like few other natural materials. It can absorb moisture without feeling wet, it resists wrinkles, and it is both biodegradable and sustainable. But wool is not a recent invention. Its history dates back more than 11,000 years, when people in ancient Mesopotamia began domesticating sheep. At first, they were raised mainly for meat and milk, but eventually, people discovered that their fleece could be turned into clothing. Over time, wool became a valuable resource. In the Middle Ages, Spain guarded its merino sheep so closely that exporting them was punishable by death. This fine, soft wool was considered a national treasure. Everything changed in 1797, when the British brought some merino sheep to Australia, giving rise to an industry that would later revolutionise the textile world. By the 19th century, Australia had become the global leader in wool production, thanks to its ideal climate and vast open pastures. Today, the country is home to more than 70 million sheep and produces massive amounts of wool each year. This ranges from ultra-fine fibres used in high-end fashion to thicker varieties for carpets. Over time, wool has become a key material in both fashion and the global economy, maintaining its status as a natural, durable and highly versatile fibre. So how is the finest wool in the world made? The process begins on Australia's wide open farms, where ranchers care for large flocks of sheep grazing in open fields under clear skies. The sheep, mostly breeds like Merino, Corriedale and Romney, are fed a balanced diet of grass, hay and supplements to ensure their wool grows strong, uniform and shiny. Ranchers also monitor the animal's health, vaccinating and deworming them to prevent illnesses that could affect the quality of the fibre. The most important moment comes once a year, usually in spring or summer, when the sheep are sheared. This process not only collects the wool, but also helps the animals by removing the heavy fleece during the warmer months. On average, a sheep produces between 2 and 5 kilograms of wool, depending on its breed and living conditions. For instance, a merino can produce up to 3 kilograms of fine fibre, while sturdier breeds, like the Lincoln, generate heavier, coarser fleece. Shearing is a job that requires strength, skill and precision. Professional shearers, often seen as athletes in the industry, work in specialised sheds where sheep are brought in groups to be sheared. A typical shearer can handle around 170 sheep in an eight-hour shift, while the most experienced ones can exceed 200. The job is so competitive that it even has a world record, set by Australian Ivan Scott in 2016, when he sheared a sheep in just 37.9 seconds and reached over 95 sheep in one hour. This fast pace demands not only skill, but also a full support team of wool handlers, graders and assistants to keep everything moving. Shearing machines are the core of this stage. They work like large electric razors with a 9cm comb and fast vibrating blades connected to an external motor through a flexible shaft. This design keeps the handle light and cool, which is essential when shearers process up to 20 sheep per hour. However, the blades wear out quickly so they are sharpened every 30 minutes using a portable grinder. A single shearing machine can perform up to 3,000 cuts per minute, allowing the wool to be removed in one complete piece, known as a fleece, without harming the animal's skin. Animal care is a top priority. Shearers follow strict protocols. They lift the sheep by the legs, never by the wool, to avoid stress, and they return them quickly to their pens where water and food are available. Shearing also benefits the animals. After losing up to 5 kilograms of wool, sheep move more easily and increase their food intake to generate heat, which improves their nutrition. For the workers, body posture is crucial. Many use ceiling suspended harnesses that help support their weight, allowing them to work in a slightly leaning position 
without straining their backs during long eight or 10 hour shifts. Once the sheep is sheared, the wool or fleece is a mix of fibers, natural grease, soil, and plant debris. Belly wool, which is shorter and coarser, is removed first since it has lower value and is used in products like insulation or padding. The rest of the fleece is removed in a single continuous motion, almost as if the sheep is being unwrapped, and it is taken to the sorting table. At the table, handlers spread the fleece across a wooden slatted surface that allows dirt and loose material to fall through the gaps. The dirtiest edges are trimmed by hand in a precise step that ensures product quality. Then, trained wool graders examine each fleece based on fineness, length, colour and strength. Merino wool with a diameter of 19 microns is prized for suits and high fashion garments, while thicker fibres up to 40 microns are used for carpets and upholstery. The grease in the fleece, known as lanolin, is extracted during washing and used in cosmetics such as moisturisers and lip products. This byproduct adds extra value and connects the wool industry with the beauty sector. Raw wool can contain up to 50% impurities. That is why it is cleaned in large tanks filled with warm water and biodegradable detergent. This removes the grease and leaves the fibres soft and bright. The washing process is gentle to preserve the wool's natural elasticity and softness. Afterward, the clean wool is dried and compacted into bales weighing up to 180 kilograms. These bales are then ready for transport to textile mills. In Australia, about 2,000 bales are produced daily during the shearing season, a number that shows the massive scale of this industry. At the factories, wool bales arrive from farms across the globe and processing turns into a colossal industrial operation. Each day, an average factory handles around 10,000 kilograms of wool. The first step is dyeing, where the fibres are submerged in tanks filled with a wide palette of colours, ranging from natural tones to vibrant reds and blues. To improve efficiency, the wool is compressed into steel baskets using hydraulic presses, allowing up to 200 kilograms to be dyed at once. A centrifuge then removes the excess water, and the wool moves on to industrial dryers that use heat and vacuum systems to evaporate any remaining moisture. At this stage, the wool looks like a fluffy cloud, ready for the next step. Carding is essential to prepare the fibres. The carding machines, equipped with hundreds of rollers covered in fine wires, work like an enormous brush, detangling and aligning the fibres while removing any remaining impurities. This process can involve up to 120 rollers, each one designed to comb the fibres in a uniform direction, creating a continuous soft strand known as a sliver. This sliver becomes the base for spinning, the stage where wool is transformed into yarn. During spinning, the sliver fibres are twisted into continuous threads and the thickness and strength of each thread depend on the number of twists applied. For example, yarn used in sweaters may have up to five twists per inch, while yarn intended for upholstery requires more twists for added durability. Modern spinning machines can produce kilometres of yarn per hour winding it onto spools that hold up to 10,000 metres of fibre. This twisting process, once done entirely by hand thousands of years ago, still follows the same principle today, though now aided by machines and advanced technologies. Inside the weaving hall, yarn is transformed into fabric. Automatic looms interlace two types of threads, the warp running vertically and the weft crossing horizontally. This interlacing creates patterns that vary depending on the fabric's final use, from lightweight textiles for shirts to dense materials for coats. A single machine can produce up to 50 metres of fabric per hour, and each roll is carefully inspected to ensure there are no imperfections. Merino wool fabrics, for example, are so soft and delicate that they are reserved for suits, dresses and premium garments, while thicker fibres are used for more durable products such as blankets, carpets or elegant curtains. But before becoming clothing, many of these exclusive fabrics are sent to specialised workshops, select stores or luxury boutiques. There, designers and expert tailors turn them into high-quality, unique garments. Whether it is a merino sweater, a cosy blanket for the sofa or upholstery for a designer piece, every finished product goes through strict quality checks before reaching the customer. And while these creations travel the world, 
from shop windows in Paris to displays in Tokyo, the sheep return peacefully to the Australian fields, ready to begin a new production cycle. And that is how the finest wool in the world is made. Tell me, what did you think of the process? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, now is the time. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Here are other production processes you might love. Just click on one and enjoy. See you next time.